Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God, how are you guys doing on this Friday? It's Friday guys, yes it is Friday, into the weekend we go, here we go, here we go. Today was a great day, I pretty much, um, I didn't have a whole lot to do today as much as normal, but I enjoyed my day today. Um, Yesterday was a little bit different than, of course, every day is always different. Some days are slower, some of the days are faster. But today was a very, very good day, a moderate day. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day today. I hope all is going well for you today. You know, wherever you are in the world, I pray God's blessings over your life. If it is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nee, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me. A word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, I give it to you. So welcome, welcome, and welcome to all of my beautiful subscribers, my viewers. Mm -hmm. That's a hug from me to you. Welcome, God. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I tell you guys, um, today, you know, the Holy Spirit was dealing with me about um, Isaiah, the 61st chapter, you know, uh, how he was talking about with the beauty for ashes and how a lot of times we um, have been through so much in our lives. You know, um, I know myself, I've been through so much in my life. Um, things that people would be shocked about, um, the things that I've been through in my life that I've overcome by the Holy Spirit. And so, you know, the Word of God is so true, you know, um, where he says he would give us beauty for ashes you know um and a lot of times we don't even look like what we've been through i mean um some people everybody has a different testimony everybody has a different story to tell of what they've been through in their lives and that's the uniqueness about um this life that's the uniqueness about this life it's because we all have a different story to tell we all have something that we've been through and it can help somebody else you know it's all about helping people it can help someone else so if i can come on here and i can inspire you encourage you and push you into the next level that's what i want to do and that's my desire you know because of the christ that's on the inside of me i want to bless your life because it's a blessing and giving amen so yeah um and you know when i think about the things that i've been through it's been so it's been a very, very, um, I will say like a roller coaster ride, you know, um, especially the last uh, some odd years, I would say 15, 20 years, has been like, woo, woo, you know, um, marriage, relationship, you know, woo, you know, um, even uh, raising the kids, you know, it's been up, oh, you know. Um, it's been a very, very trying time at times because sometimes, you know, raising kids, you're raising them by yourself. So it is like a roller coaster. And I just want to encourage even th those of you that are raising your children, raising your grandchildren, you know, that you feel like it's hard and it's really difficult trying to really take care of these children, you know, and teaching them right from wrong. And sometimes they have a mind of their own and they just want to do what they want to do. But I just want to encourage you that God is giving you strength right now i speak strength over you hallelujah he's giving you beauty for ashes the things that you feel as though hallelujah how am i going to come through this hallelujah but god is saying he's giving you beauty in the midst of those things that you've been through that you're going through with raising those children he's giving you strength hallelujah and i speak strength over you right now even those of you that are raising your grandchildren I know it's not easy, but God is giving you strength. He's giving you strength right now. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's things out of your control where you just, of course, you want to take care of your grandkids. Hallelujah. Because maybe their parent can't take care of them. But God is saying, even in that, I'm giving you beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. And you may have been taking care of them for years, years, years. Let me read a little bit of that. I'm going to read Isaiah. The 61st chapter, starting at the first verse. And he says, Isaiah, this is Isaiah, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me 
to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what God has sent us to do, you know, uh, to, 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 to encourage and to bind up those broken, the, the, the spirit of brokenheartedness. You know, those that feel like they're broken and they're in despair, God wants to build you up. Amen. He wants to build you up in his word, in his word. Hallelujah. And verse 2 says, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of, of vengeance of our God. To com comfort all that mourn. You know, he wants to comfort you. All of everyone, you know, we all have to go through periods in our lives where we feel like we are mourning for something, more someone. It may not even be some, something that has completely um, physically died, but it may have died, uh, a relationship that has died is what I'm saying, versus uh, actual, it may feel like death to you. You know, sometimes people go through horrible divorces and they don't know how they're going to recover and they still keep right on wondering, what did I do wrong? How am I going to recover for this? How am I going to come back from this? You know, why did he walk out on me? Why did she walk out on me? But God is saying, I'm giving you beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. Keep your focus on me, my son. Keep your focus on me, my daughter. I'm giving you beauty for ashes. I have my hand on your life. You are recovering. I promise you, you are recovering. Just stay focused on me. And just don't, you know, don't concentrate on what you went through. Don't keep dwelling on what you went through. When the enemy tries to keep bringing those thoughts to your mind, begin to speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Begin to talk back to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The peace of God covers my mind. Hallelujah. Begin to speak those things as be not as though they are. Amen. And I want to read verse, uh, first we're going to go to verse, um, verse four. And they shall build the old waste and shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the, the waste cities the desolations of many generations. Yes, yeah, so God is saying that, you know, um, let me back up. I'm sorry, excuse me. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy, hallelujah, for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, and that they may, that, excuse me, that they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified see you know when we feel as though you know I've learned through my uh, experience of living holy is that we must make sure that we are praising God in the midst of what we go through you know it's not always easy you know I was talking about last yesterday on the video about how sometimes our feelings can get involved and we don't feel like doing this we don't feel like getting up going to work we don't feel like doing you know uh, eating healthy, going, you know, working out, whatever, you know, and God is saying, you know, it's not about what we feel, but it's about what his word says, and it's about us being obedient to his word, and walking by faith and not by sight, and so, you know, we have to be obedient and begin to praise God in the midst of what we're going through, it don't always seem like it looks right, it don't look right sometimes, a lot of times it don't look right. But if we would just, just begin to praise God and lift our hands and say, Father, I thank you because I know that I'm coming through this. Father, I thank you because I know that you are making ways out of nowhere. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah, that my child is coming out of prison. I thank you, Father, for giving them a mind to want to live for you. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah, that I enjoy what I do on my job for right now for this season. You have new doors opening for me. I thank you, Father, for giving me the know-how of how to start this business. I thank you, Father. Begin to speak those things as be not as though they were. And God is going to begin to move. He's going to begin to turn things around. Hallelujah. And those things that you've been through in your life, God is saying he's giving you beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're coming through the fire and you look like you've never been burned because God is giving you beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just be encouraged. Know that God is moving on your behalf. I know it's not easy. It's not always easy for me. But guess what? We got the word of God and his word is true. He is not going to fail us. Hallelujah. He is not going to fail us. His word 
is his promises to us. Hallelujah. He stands by his word and he is faithful to perform it. No matter what you feel, no matter what you're going through, God is moving for you. If you believe, if you're living for him, if you have committed your life over to God, you better best believe God is working for you. God is moving on your behalf. Hallelujah. But you walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. That's the key. You can't allow these things of this world to bring you down, to make you feel like God is forsaking you. God is not forsaking you. He sees, he knows, he's heard your prayers and know that he is answering every prayer on your and my behalf. He's answering every single prayer and he's given us beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. Beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. For the things that we've been through in our lives. God has turned it around. Hallelujah. He's turned it around. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Be encouraged. Know that God is working for you. He loves you so much. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you and I praise you for each one of the chosen generation family of the Most High God. I thank you, Lord, for turning every situation around and giving them beauty for ashes, things that they've been through in their lives. Hallelujah, Father. I pray that you would encourage their heart. I pray that you would bless their lives, every area of their life that they are praying, areas that they're praying for things, their families, or whatever it is, their businesses. I ask that you would meet that need, God, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for doing it quickly on their behalf. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I pray that this message was a blessing to you. And if this is the type of content that you enjoy, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the chosen generation family of the Most High God. We would love to have you. We are a growing kingdom family of the Most High God. I love you guys. Be encouraged, and remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you, and I will talk to you real soon.